Hi guys, welcome back. For some reason my phone, the light only works for like 10 minutes. The flash, the flash will go out. So, I've had to break up my boxy charm August base boxes into separate instead of like doing all three in one, one order. So, this is box number three for August. So this is my profile. <coughs> that I've had for a long time and it's you know my age my preferences all right let me see yes this one's mine okay wow this is a low variation all right and you're gonna have to go back and or watch the other two to see if I got different products, did I got three different, because I do different choice products to get different, hopefully get different products. Okay, first item is my choice, is the Too Faced Born This Way Super Coverage Concealer. A lot of people thought this was foundation, but you know, a lot of people can use it as foundation. And it says conceal, contour, highlight, retouch, super perfecting. So because I get premium, I could go on early and choose or whatever. But I went in early to make sure, like, I wanted to make sure that, because the shades were like, I was going to get it in two different profiles, but I was like, eh. Because the second time, there wasn't many shades left. And so I got it in the shade Pearl, which I felt was the closest to mine. It was fair to light, or light to fair, I believe, um, with neutral undertones. <clears throat> so I'm hoping... Let me see, we still got some eyeshadow from previous video. Hint, hint. <laughs> I'm doing box of charm videos tonight. Trying to get the three base ones done for August. And I did some add-ons. I got my two pop-up orders came in. But I got a third one on the way. It's supposed to, well, it's supposed to be shipping. Look at the size of that dough applicator. And it's angled, so that'd be perfect to get underneath the under eyes. Okay, now is, let's see, I always like with concealer, let's see if we can totally do, I didn't even smell it, oh it smells good, like, makeup did when I, when I was younger with like a fresher scent. It's like bringing me back to being like 16 again. I should have took a blending brush, you know what I mean? Or blending brush, a blending sponge. But if someone used a brush, I don't know if this is going to be. Yeah, this should really work. See that just blended right in. I mean, of course, it's going to look funny because a darker tattoo here and I have a lot on there, but. I like it. It is light. It feels very comfortable. Win-win. Okay, and that is, like I said, $29. And, <clears throat> excuse me. The second item I'm seeing here is the Mud Masky Specialized Series. It shows like from your phone retracting UV blue light protection from your face it's I thought it was hair stuff at first blue light protection mask helps shield harmful high energy visible blue light from laptop tablet smartphone tele television LED light computer screens two fluid ounces and we're inside a lot and having to like homeschool and doing zoom and like virtual meetings and screen oh my goodness so 
protect your, I mean, now that there's eyeglasses to protect your eyes, but to, this is, okay, mud masking, blue light protection mask. Blocks high energy visible HEV light for digital devices and laptops up to 94% made especially for people that spend a lot of time behind a computer screen. Prevents premature skin aging caused by HEV. This is $54. Holy moly. Okay, we have a safety seal. Thank you, Boxy, for a seal. Starting to listen. Let me smell it. Kind of perfume me a little bit. Okay, I put the foundation down there, so we're going to put this right here. Let's see how it feels. Oh, no, it's not bad. It's a light scent, so if you're sensitive to scents, but... Let me see. Put a dab on my face. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't feel heavy or anything. I'm putting some on right now on my face and it's... Oh, you know what it smells like after you got it on? I just rubbed some on my face. And it's like after you're rubbing it in, it smells like lilacs. I call them lilac. They're lilac. Whatever. I call them lilacs. But oh my goodness, that's my favorite scent. It smells like lilacs. Oh my goodness. I'm going to love using that. Okay, that was a big price tag on that. Okay. Next is... What you be? What you be? What you be? Elizabeth Mott Thank Me Later Eye Primer. Well, thank you. This cruelty-free... Primer enhances your eyeshadow and provides protects makeup all day. Apply in the morning and go all night without worrying. Dries quickly and transparently, so it's clear. It's not like a brown or anything. Prepping your eyelids for a smooth and even application of your shadow. Twenty dollars. So I'm all in for a new eye primer. You know what I mean? I try different brands. Let's see. And for it to not crease and, you know, it's transparent. Let's see what you look like. Alright, we're going to do a test. Okay, it comes out like pink, kind of milky. We're going to do a little area. This half of the hand, okay? If I can rub it in. Rub it in, rub it in. Rub it in. Okay. I used quite a bit. I mean, you, use, you only need like a pea size would do both eyes. So, scent. Very light and nice. So, I am thankful for you. But you're going to see why we're doing a spot test here. Okay. Next item. Just got a little crushed on the way is... <clears throat> Clarins Velvet Lip Protector and this is $26 and I just did the boxy survey they send those surveys out and I screenshotted a bunch of upcoming products whether you want it or not and a lot of it was KVD and I'm like beauty and I'm like a lot of people are going to flip and one of them was holographic palette that was just in pop up for $6 I'm like why you do that to people it's like, why do you have it cheap and pop up and then be like, oh yeah, we're going to put it in the box. But, um, there was a lot of Claren stuff too. But I do screenshots. There was some stuff I was impressed with. Okay. Uh, let me know in the comments if you want me to start doing videos with the screenshots. Sharing what the survey shows because some people don't get it. And I have the last two that I've done in the last week. And they were different items, like for upcoming. And I looked at the one before that. I had screenshots. And some have appeared in boxes. So it's like, kind of like 
future spoilers. Alright, so the Velvet Lip Protector is $26, best-selling natural lip protector, Go Bold New Matte Finish, Weightless Mousse Texture that delivers a high pigment, velvety finish with soft blur effect, formulated with conditioning and nourishing shea butter, leaves lips hydrated for hours, so it's not going to be drying, which is good. And... Six. Okay, what shade did we get? Velvet Nude. Well, I am not... I have on there no nudes, really? Oh, I don't think I'm going to swatch this. We're just going to open a look at the color. But I am not a nude person for lips. I don't know. With the new Jeffree Star collection, I might want to try this lip with it. Let's just see has a velvet, but I could use it, I can't knock it because I could use this and you know, I layer different colors so that's where we have the eye primer and this is where we have nothing, so we're not going to do anything there, so let's do it here, so it's like a cushion and you can see it come up through, so that is a darker nude, so let's see oh no, it's nice it's like a a little more squeeze there. Oh, okay. Okay, we're good. We're good for fall. That is like a light chocolate nude. Okay. I'm liking it. I love the applicator. I've had ones before where you turn and it clicks and it comes up like that. Let me see what it smells like. I got other things on my hand, so I'm going to have to smell the container. Not really hardly any scent at all. All right, Clarence. Can I tell you a funny story about Clarence? It's not Clarence, but Clarence. You know, like you go to the store and you see Clarence, red, you know, sale, like things marked down. My, I've always been a bargain hunter. My mother was, my dad was, wheeler, dealer, bargain hunter, yard sales, flea markets, thrift store, you name it, Clarence, everything, right? My grandmother, too. So I grew up being, so... <laughs> Every time, like, being a little kid, it's a funny story, I'd go into the store with my mom, and she'd be like, we gotta look for Clarence. <laughs> so finally one day I said, Mom, we never found, she's like, when we leave the store, she's like, I never found Clarence. And I, So finally one day I said, well, what does he look like? And she's like, who? Cool. I said, Clarence. I thought she was looking for a guy named Clarence that worked at these different stores all this time. <laughs> oh yeah I thought that was a funny story but it's like Clarence where you be uh, looking for you I'm still searching for Clarence at 45 years old alright last but definitely not least we got a palette and that's why I did that primer like that so this one came okay, with some bubble on it it is the Butter London Teddy Boy 9-piece eyeshadow palette. And they do have a Teddy Girl, which is a warm tone. And Teddy Boy is a cool tone. And this... Uh, let me see. Where are you? So that's why I put the Elizabeth Mott Thank Me Later eye primer down on half my hand. Because we're going to do swatches. We're going to see the difference. See, I was thinking ahead. Uh, is twenty-eight dollars. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. This box retailed for a hundred and fifty-seven dollars, and I can't believe I got it. Early variation, variation three. Like, really? But that's why I like that I did different choices. So you have to watch the videos and see did I get different palettes? What did I get? Okay. So, because I have three different videos, three different base boxes, and then some add-ons on one, and then I got to do my two premium boxes. But, let me see. What are you, Butter, Linen, Teddy Bear palette? A highly pigmented nine-piece shadow palette featuring highly versatile, cool tone, neutral hues. Create up to 
array of looks with the matte and shimmer and metallic shades that complement all skin tones. Touch-ups are easy thanks to the small and easy carry mirrored compact for $28. Now, this one, uh, they had another one for $39, different palette. Had no mirror, nothing. This one, for less money, has a mirror and everything. So it shows it on the back. It's Freddie, Simone, Mick, Francis, Billy, Nigel, Archie, Graham, and Rupert. And it opens like a bifold, like a book. Okay, hang on. We got a little cast off there, so I'll move the plastic cover. It says looking good darling and that spelling of darling d-a-h-l-i-n-g i have a fake vermont where i live license plate i found at a thrift store that says the same thing vermont it's a vermont license plate and it says darling spelled like that d-a-h-l-i-n-g and i have that hung up in my room okay so this one did pretty good for $25, $156 value. Alright, so we're going to try Nigel. So we're going to do to double swatch here. So there's Nigel there. Can't really see it. These are creamy. Okay, I can. It's hard to. Okay, it's kind of tacky right here. It's drier over here. I did use a lot of it too. Alright, so we're going to try Rupert over here. And then we're going to try Rupert over here. So that's kind of smudged. That didn't work to my advantage here. I'm going to wipe my hand off. Then we got Mick. See, it's like a gray metallic. Alright, we're not getting enough product or something. Let's try it over here. This is just all blending. It's because you can't really with the... You know what I mean? It's just going to smudge, so... Let's try it this way. On bare skin. Okay, we got Mick. We're going to do a double layer to get some good swatches. Rupert. Ooh. What are those colors reminding you of? The cremated palette. <laughs> Freddy is like a lavender purple. That's pretty. And then Archie is like this white. Look at that. It's like a white chrome. Reminds me of almost like an Ulfra highlighter. So a lot of people are like, oh, I'm not with the layout of this, but I'm telling you, these shadows are really pretty. And they would be really bubble. Okay, we're going to go Graham, the chocolate one. Ooh, that was easy. One swipe. We're going to do Francis. Oh, that's not fair to Francis, but my hand was, my finger was, had uh, the other one on it. There's France, it's like a metallic. Oh, it's still the same. Okay, and Billy in the middle. So you have a lot of neutrals and shimmers, and they're really pretty. I mean, you can do a lot of this palette. I want to see, what is it, this one, I think? Nigel. Build that one up. No, that was Simone. I just messed up Simone. The one I really want to see is Archie. Let's see this built up. Look at that. It's like white monochrome. Alright, let's put it on. See, like you're using the black. And then you used Archie on top. 
Can you imagine the eye look? Oh. So, I am <clears throat> impressed. Just to recap, we got the, and I love it, and magnets. Okay, I got something on the outside. Um, it's very cute. Whoops, I forgot to put the. I think it's very cute, accessible. Has a little mirror. You could hold it, you know, like this. Prop it up. Easy for travel. It mag, you know, magnetic. You know, it's not going to open. Um, so I'm doing a lot of sorting and stuff. I'm trying to get things ready for the 1500 subscriber giveaway. And I've already got plans for the 1200. So I'm hoping we get there soon because I'm excited to announce it and the items. And so anyways, in this one we had the Teddy Boy palettes that neutral which I don't like neutrals and I love this formula so they get these in add-ons or pop-ups I'm gonna be buying me some more of those velvet lip protectors the eye primer which I'm gonna have to try it it's different with brushes and on your eye it's a whole different skin um, this I love the scent of this it smells like lilacs on lilac people pick on me I call it lilac and I really loved the match and everything and you could choose your own shade of uh, this Too Faced Born This Way. I haven't opened my two premium and I know in some of the premiums was the Too Faced Born This Way setting powder so I'm really hoping I get it in one of my premium boxes which I haven't opened them yet. I'm just doing my August boxes and I haven't done <laughs> my July boxes like really. I'm that far behind. I just been overwhelmed, haven't been well, and I'm like, I gotta, you know, even if I take 20 minutes out, I gotta, you know, start getting some of this done because I am redoing, setting up so I can sit there in front of the camera, and I bought a new phone, um, I got new storage stuff, everything, I got a desk. I am switching everything up so and I'm setting up the laptop so I can see what it's filming I'm gonna we're up in our game <laughs> so <clears throat> it's a lot of people are, you know I was kind of nervous to be on camera a lot of people were like you're beautiful what are you worried about you know what I mean and I was like you know I'm just gonna start going on cam because it's like I think people can relate to you a lot better and they can see your facial expressions and it's you know all in that social which my son's special needs Jake I try um, he struggles with facial cues and stuff but if I'm not putting that out there that you know I'm I want to be on this side of the cam I mean sometimes if it's a big unboxing or you know it's something that I can't just hold you know it's so big and I need to focus on that that's one thing, but um, I do have a lot of hauls coming up. I have a huge children's place haul, and how for you to save money on your kids' clothing, even if they're not going back to school. Seasons are changing. We still got to buy our kids' clothes, and um, a lot of different things. So, with that said, like, comment, subscribe. We appreciate all our subscribers. And uh, let me know what was your favorite. Did what did you get in your base box? Do you get Boxy Charm? In the description is a bunch of links. Um, and with that said, if you watch all three videos, I'm pretty happy with what I got this month. I think it was very successful. And as usual. Stay blessed, stay beautiful, and happy hauling.